deer standing there looking at me. It's a long walk out of here, so we got time to talk. So for smallmouth fishing, the gear that you need is really simple. I use a seven weight rod, and it's a 10 footer. If you're a salmon or a steelhead fisherman, you already have a rod that's gonna work for smallmouths. Um, I really like the seven weight. I think the eight weight's a little too heavy. It's nice to have a longer rod because the stream that I fish here you have to pump out some long casts. The, uh, I like the multi-tip fly lines. Usually I'm using the weight forward floating section, but sometimes I'll use the sink tips if I'm fishing streamers. So it's pretty much a simple rig. Leaders. Smallmouths are leader shy. So I use a 10 foot leader with a 20 pound, six foot section, a 20 pound tied to 15 tied to 12 and then the tippet goes off of that so the 15 and the 12 are two foot sections and then i usually run about three feet of tippet and for tippet i use Cortland camouflage spinning line because it's very abrasion resistant and hard to see in the water and i've had good luck with it and i usually use six pound Sometimes you might have to go down to four in a real clear lake, but on streams like the one I'm on today, usually six pound is the best. The other gear that I carry, I carry just a simple tackle pack with one box of flies. I always have some hemostats to get hooks out, uh, nippers, carry fly floating because the poppers that I use I use sheet foam poppers and I always dope the sheet foam up with the floating and like I said I've got one box of flies so just a simple one box chest pack that's all I ever really need Smallmouths eat all kinds of stuff. Um, they really are opportunists. Whatever they can get the easiest is what they're going to eat, or whatever's in the most abundance. But uh, there are certain things that they come back to time and time again. They eat a lot of minnows, so I always have streamer patterns. And also like trout, they will eat aquatic insects stream I fish here doesn't really have any hatches, but I've seen in Pennsylvania, I caught smallmouths on the white fly hatch. 
so if there's a hatch or something like that on your favorite stream or lake they're going to be there eating it one aquatic insect that is pretty important for smallmouths are the helgramites and they eat a lot of those so i would always have something that imitates those and a black woolly bugger is pretty good for that for the minnows i like a jerk fly as well uh, like a jerk bait type fly that's neutral and buoyant and i have my own that i call the jerk fly and i've caught some of my bigger smallmouths on that uh, another thing that they eat in abundance is crayfish smallmouths like in the summertime almost get selective on just wanting to eat crayfish so you always need some kind of crayfish pattern and i have one that's pretty realistic i also fish uh, a grub style fly that probably gets taken for a crayfish by the smallies they will hit poppers and i have my own version of that which we'll talk about later some people say that the the bigger fish won't hit poppers i've caught some huge smallies on poppers it's just a question of when you're going to fish them right now it's way too bright but if it was an overcast day i would certainly not hesitate to try a popper and that's about it you know minnows crayfish sometimes aquatic insects and a lot of times they eat other small mouths too because i'm there were tons of smallmouth fry in the stream here about three weeks ago and starting to see less and less and that's because the bass are eating the baby bass they will do that their food needs are pretty simple so here's a look at the basic types of flies you need for small mouths definitely need poppers and I tie a my own sheet foam popper and what I like about them is I put in the uh, red saddle hackle and it looks like it's a bait fish and it's bleeding from its gills. That's one of my favorite colors. I also tie it in chartreuse because smallmouths really like chartreuse and a lot of times they'll hit that. That is a little dog that's laying here talking. You also need streamers. I tie a generic bunny fur streamer that has an Estad body and an Estaz body and a cone head. Um, you need, I like these. These are a grub style, my cone head grub fly. And they look like crayfish. They can look like a Helgramite. They look like all kinds of different things. Another streamer type fly that I like, and I call this my jerk fly, and this will work just like a jerk bait. So it's got foam and lead weight in the body, so it just kind of suspends in the water column and it'll jerk left and right. It has a lot of action and a lot of movement. And definitely small mouse or crayfish eaters. So you need a crayfish pattern. This is the crayfish pattern that I developed. And it's, it's pretty realistic. Crayfish always move backwards when they swim. So the uh, claws and everything should be tied near the hook. But uh, definitely in the middle of the summer, crayfish are what the bass are all over. And that's a basic set of flies. And that'll catch smallmouths anywhere. You should be pretty well equipped if that's what you got. Still walking. Also in the realm of smallmouth gear, it's going to be in the 90s today, so I got out and fished early. But uh, I don't wear waders. I just take my wading boots and a pair of socks, and I wear fishing pants that dry quick. And uh, up top, I got just a fishing shirt with a hood because of the sun. But. I don't really go with waders or anything heavy and that's another nice thing about small mouse is that even on that end of it you don't need a lot of gear. One of the beauties of this type of fishing is there's a lot of action 
and it's simple. You don't need a lot of gear. You can wade, you can fish from a boat, you can canoe down a stream. There's all kinds of ways of getting at it. And right now it's the end of July. Today is probably gonna be close to 90 degrees and it's just not suitable for the trout streams. So we stay off of the trout streams in the hot months. And, but this uh, smallmouth, fly fishing for smallmouth, pro provides a lot of activity and a lot of fun during those down times. Even just fly fishing for smallmouth, period, is a great sport and it's a great challenge in and of itself. Thank you.